Good morning, Judge Newfer. We are so grateful that you would take time out of your busy schedule to visit with us this morning. I'm very glad to be here. Your help has been invaluable to me, so I'm glad to talk about technology, which is one of my favorite subjects. Well, this is a very important topic. As a little introduction to our audience today, you are Judge David Newfer. You are a federal judge here in Salt Lake City, Utah, and while you have a mighty impressive and extensive curriculum vitae, we won't go through all of it today. Uh, your experience presenting lectures to judges, lawyers, law students in Brazil, Czech Republic, Abu Dhabi, some of these countries I can't even pronounce, but I really do want to say Istanbul. The most important aspects of your background for our topic today is your vast experience and love of technology. So let's turn our attention to the matter at hand, which is access to justice through technology. Many months ago, NCRA was approached by you, I believe, at a technology convention with questions about this fully integrated, all-inclusive courthouse vision that you had for your new courthouse that has just been completed and we are sitting in today. And you've been in for about two months, I believe. That's right. So. We just wanted to know your experience and this vision you have for this technologically advanced courtroom. You know, we've been one of the fortunate courts in the country to be able to build a new courthouse. Um, there aren't many courthouses being built right now. But we've been able to build a court, courthouse with 10 fully equipped, uh, technology-enabled courtrooms. <clears throat> we have um, evidence presentation, video conferencing, audio conferencing. We have Wi-Fi in these courtrooms. And uh, it would be a shame not to have real time in these courtrooms. So when you met with us, it was with the idea of helping us understand how we could integrate Wi-Fi into the courthouse uh, and real time into that Wi-Fi. So we've been very appreciative of your help to make this really a state-of-the-art system. Why don't you share with us the value that you find as a judge in having real time? I was a magistrate judge for years and never used real time and I discovered real time when talking with another judge who was at a confirmation hearing with me. He told me I should never do a trial without real time and I asked him why and he said if you try it once you'll know why. So when I got back to Salt Lake I had a court reporter hook up her laptop to a monitor on my bench and I was able to watch the transcript and I became convinced that this is what I wanted in my hearings and in my trials because I was so much better able to focus my attention, track what had really been asked and answered, and carefully evaluate objections on evidence uh, as they were made. I found also that I was better able to track the course of the testimony. So then we went the next step and we started investigating real-time possibilities and we have um, different court reporters using different systems in, in our building, but we were able to implement a couple of real-time systems with some demos. And using those, I became very convinced that this is something we wanted to do. So that was my introduction. Can you tell us the value that you perceive for attorneys practicing in front of you in your courtroom? You know, most attorneys work on a trial in teams, and even in motions here in federal court, they come in teams. The real time enables the teams to really evaluate what's being said. Sometimes the speaker can't track what they're saying very well. But when other members of the team have access to the real time, they're able to know if an argument's been hit or if it's been missed. And they're also able to carefully analyze what's being said by the other side so that they can be prepared to rebut or respond to that. So the value for attorneys, I think, is very high in being able to have a concrete idea of what's happening as it happens. How about for the support staff, the courtroom support staff? How is this facilitative of the efficiency of your courtroom staff? One advantage for the real-time systems is they allow annotation and they have timestamp marking. So we're able to track exactly where those significant pieces of testimony come out by marking on the real time as it goes by. I'm often too busy to do that, but my law clerk is able to do that. The court, uh, courtroom deputy can scroll back and see, was this evidence just introduced or was it actually admitted and received? So that's something very useful for them. And do you see value to the public as, at, at large with this system? You know, a couple of times we've had hearing impaired people in court and you can use the headsets with them. 
but we found that they preferred, we, we had one deaf uh, person who preferred the real time to having the deaf interpreter because he could actually see the words. And we noticed that he was not paying attention to the interpreter, but he was actually paying attention to the real time as it flowed. And that was a, a, a real service to that person, I think. Well, we had several challenges that we were looking to find solutions to when we first started working with you. Do you want to address those challenges maybe and how the solutions that we've come across? Well, your biggest challenge, Debbie, was that we didn't know what we were looking for. <laughs> and so you and Sue came here and demonstrated several systems to us in a very short period of time. And we were able to look at uh, systems by different vendors and make sense out of those options. That was very helpful to us. But the challenges technologically that we faced is that we, the court staff, work on an intranet, very secure and very private. Our court reporters actually cannot be on our intranet, neither can the attorneys. So we had to find a system that would bridge the intranet and the public Wi-Fi system. And of course, that's internet connectivity. And we have the Wi-Fi infrastructure to do that, but we had to find a way acceptable to the systems to our IT staff, to the security people that will allow that bridging. And with your help, we've found several options that we're pursuing right now. That was one of the biggest challenges. Um, another challenge is that all our reporters use different hardware and transcription software. So we had to find a system that would work with all of those. And fortunately, the market now is responding to that so that any reporter could walk into any courtroom provide a feed to the judge and court staff and attorneys using standard viewing software. And uh, that's a real step forward from the cable connecting a monitor to the court reporter's uh, laptop. That's a big step forward. One of the things that I, that I thought we experienced as we were working through this process was something important for you. You wanted to be able to see the real-time feed on your internet so that you could still have access to other documents and other pleadings and things that had been filed for you to look up quickly and not lose track of the testimony at the same time. Yeah, we actually have a lot of systems running in the courtroom. We have evidence presentation that the attorneys and the court can put material into. We have our court systems like email and instant messaging that we use while we're on the bench, our electronic research that we would be using. Uh, all of our evidence we try to maintain electronically in PDF files. But then there's real time. And we have to have access to all of that. So that means that we have to have an internet cloud-based solution. And we've been able to find that with your help. Well, finally, why don't we address the elephant in the room and talk about cost? That would be a big issue for courtrooms. You know, uh, capitalism is a great system because you have competition. And competition leads to cost reduction. And we've been able to find, through talking with various vendors and shopping carefully and with your help, a system that will meet our needs and be very cost effective. Our primary concern is providing real time at low or no cost to the judges and court staff. We're not paying uh, commercial rates for that. Now, when the attorneys start to pay commercial rates, then that can justify a more expensive system. And we want our court reporters to be able to sell the real time. So we have found a system that I think meets both the needs at a low cost internally. Well, we really appreciate your time today. Is there anything you would like to uh, finally express to those that are interested in a real-time system about the advantages that you see of this system? You know, the, I've told you the advantages for the judges and for the attorneys and for the public. I think until you try this, you don't really have an idea of what a difference it makes with concentration and accuracy. And those are two things we really need to have in trials and in long hearings. The other point I would make for court reporters is that this is a huge service to the uh, community you serve, the judges, the attorneys, the public. Um, everyone is able to achieve greater accuracy and, and greater concentration. And honestly, it's a very big differentiator for reporters. A reporter who can offer a real-time service is really adding value. And I think that as uh, court administrators and others look at these systems, they'll realize this is a way to better serve this is a way to improve efficiency and accuracy and improve justice in the long run. Judge Newfer, we really appreciate your insight and your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks, Debbie, for all your help.